Hello and welcome to a special edition of Vinyl Hall. This is a special Black Friday Record Store Day edition of Vinyl Hall. Uh, I'm going to show you some video clips of my morning and uh, what I had to go through to get my records. Uh, so we'll watch that first and then we'll go through some of the records, the highlights of the records that I got. And uh, so stick around, watch the video and we'll come back. We'll show you what some of the highlights are. Alright, so you probably got a good chance to see at least some of the stuff that I got, but I'm going to go through some of the highlights of what I had, but uh, after I show you the highlights, there will be a video slideshow of everything that I got uh, for Record Store Day, and these are all just Record Store Day releases, so um, we'll start off with that. Okay, so we'll start off with Dr. John. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away this year, um, but this is a record store day first. Um, I think it's going to be the, uh, because it's uh, going to be, I think, a colored pressing, uh, I think the later reissues will be on black vinyl, but uh, this is a record store day first version. Uh, next up is Devo, kind of an early live recording of them. This is from 1980, so you know, kind of an early recording of them live, as you can probably see from the, the label there. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to hearing this one uh, because it's so early in their career, so it could be fun. Next up is one that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, it's The Runaways. Uh, I'm not sure quite how to hold this because you've got uh, the OB piece here and then you've got the album like this because if you it's a gatefold and you've got their uh, bottom half right there but uh, if you're not familiar with the Runaways um, pretty cool band kind of a punk hard rock band from the uh, late 70s uh, which basically had uh, Joan Jett and Lita Ford in it so before they became really popular on their own so looking forward to hearing this one I've never actually heard that before so should be pretty exciting Another very exciting option here is from a band called Ginger. If you haven't heard of them, they're uh, a metal band that uh, has a female lead singer that can sing that deep guttural metal uh, style, but also can sing the regular, you know, higher normal sound, if you will, uh, metal singing as well. And she can actually alternate between the two styles of singing uh, and typically does so on each track that they do so check this out if you if you like the sound of what you of that uh, you can find a bunch of stuff on youtube um uh with them so but this one uh was basically uh there was only 800 available and i got number 407 so uh very excited to be able to grab that one next up band called fight uh if you're familiar with judas priest uh Basically, this is Rob Halford of Judas Priest, right after he left Judas Priest, when he was not with them for that period of time that he wasn't with them. He, this is one of the bands that he created during that time frame. Uh, uh, this has never been available in the U.S., uh, except as, as an import. Um, and it's a white with black splatter uh, colored vinyl, so kind of excited about that. 
um, limited to 1500 copies and I think I got the only one that was available um, at my shop so pretty excited about that next one up is Miles Davis this is uh, some selections from uh, the Silent uh, Way sessions uh, taken from the complete In a Silent Way sessions uh, box set um, basically three tracks but one of them is almost 27 minutes long uh, so kind of excited to check this one out on vinyl I I have the box set I believe in either a digital download or a CD but it'll be kind of fun to listen to that on vinyl so next up is Cheap Trick uh, this was the first band I saw live uh, or at least the first rock band I saw live uh, this was uh, a little bit before I saw them uh, this is New Year's Eve, 1979-1980, I think on their Dream Police tour. Uh, it's a two-record set. I'm pretty excited to check this one out since it was pretty close to when I saw them live. And uh, they put on a great show. I've seen them probably three or four times now. and Or actually, probably even more than that. Probably about four or five times now. And uh, they just put on a great show. Uh, if you like them at all, you should really check them out because they're awesome live. Alright, next up. This one was probably the one that I wanted most from Record Store Day. Um, this is Saturday Morning Cartoons Greatest Hits. It's basically uh, 90s alternative bands doing covers of the Saturday Morning Cartoon uh, theme songs. You know, like you've got the Ramones doing Spider-Man. You've got uh, Butthole Surfers doing Underdog. Uh, you got Matthew Sweet. Uh, what song was he doing? Oh yeah, the Scooby-Doo uh, theme. Um, so pretty, very excited about this. I had it on CD when it first came out, and for some reason I uh, I traded it in stupidly about 10 years ago. Uh, did find it eventually back again uh, at like a Goodwill in one of my uh, many trips to Goodwill stores. Um, but uh, So I'm pretty excited to see that on, on vinyl, so pretty excited. All right, last up. This is uh, Herbie Hancock, Direct Step. This one was actually a uh, album that was recorded direct to disc, which means they basically recorded it direct to vinyl uh, onto an acetate uh, for you know for going cassette or cassette <laughs> for going a multi-track reel to reels um, probably before digital, although it's hard to say. But uh, it's kind of cool because you don't get the tape hiss. Uh, but at the same time, you better make sure you get that uh, performance right because you essentially only get one take unless you decide uh, you want to burn through a bunch of vinyl uh, to make your recordings. So uh, I have not heard of this album before. Uh, I saw it on the on the list for Record Store Day, so I'm pretty excited to check this one out. And you know, it's kind of an audio file, or considered kind of an audio file version, or an audio file recording, I should say. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Okay, so that is it for my highlights of the Record Store Day haul that I had. Uh, did you get everything you wanted? Uh, please leave comments below to let me know what you got, what you didn't, weren't able to get. Uh, I was uh, able to get just about everything I wanted. There was only one that I wasn't able to get, and I was pretty disappointed by, by that one, actually, because uh, it was one of the top ones on my list of things to get. It was the uh, Squirrel Nut Zippers Christmas album. So... Hopefully I'll be able to find it at some point, but uh, that was really the only one that I wasn't able to get um, on my list. But you'll see the entire um, collection that I got on the slideshow after this uh, to see exactly what I was able to get. Um, if you like what you see here, please subscribe below. If you want to know when I uh, do new videos, please hit that alert button. Uh, I look forward to reading all your comments. Have a great day.